mama, we've been flying with Alliance, sometimes private planes or whatever. They said the caregiver, me, or whoever's flying with heaven, has to be on the same flight or leave the same location. I said, well, what do you mean? She said, you have to come here. Or I have to come there. So I come to this. I said, okay, I, I, can't, I can't do this right now. Let me think about it. I called her back with this brilliant idea. I said, I got it. Um, I'm going to get Beret to come to North Carolina. And Beret will catch a flight with you to New York. And he can drive you to the airport. Because see, her arm was giving her problems, so she was in pain. Plus, she had been to the doctor twice, to the hospital twice, and to the doctor's office twice. She had a superficial blood clot. She couldn't use her left arm. She was in pain. I was like, I need to go there and pack. For, I, it was so much fun. I need to go pick up mom. I need to take mama back. It's a lot, right? So I come with this brilliant idea for Beret to Christmas Day. She got a change to the day after Christmas. So Ray was going to go to North Carolina. Either do a mega bus train or whatever. Because mind you, the money is low. And then help heaven and to the airport. And then they would fly on to New York. So I was more concerned about finding a flight. So I have a, a nephew that works for the airline. I called him. I said, can you get me a buddy pass, a standby? He's okay, I'll check on Chris. I told him what date. I told him I was going to try to meet Heaven and Beret in Atlanta because I just could not um, go back ahead, Mama. He called me back. He says, Aunt Crystal, I can get you to Atlanta. But the flight is filled up from Atlanta to New York. That's as far as I can get you. And mind you, this is last week. We got to leave tomorrow. You know how flights are at the last minute. A holiday? If I didn't have no money to go, period, even if they was giving us a flight, and I'm using what I have for hotel accommodations, where in the heck do I have money to buy a ticket for eight to a thousand dollars just to be there with her? So I said, Heaven, I called, I said, do you would you be okay if I don't come? I mean, can we get the date changed like January 3rd or 4th? Because it's like everybody be home and ticks will be down lower. She said to me, if you don't go, if a Ray don't go, I got to go. It'll be six weeks. I need my past scan and I need to know where my life is going. Now, I want you to go, but if you can't go, I understand I got to go. Uh, what am I going to do? She's trying to figure out if she still have cancer or not. I need to be there. Do you not know that I went from, I was trying to find flights, Fort Lauderdale, one-way round trip, Miami, round trip, one-way, West Palm Beach, Orlando, Melbourne. I was just trying to find some Something that I could afford. And I couldn't. And then I started running to the issue that it's just not great for Leon out to be driving late at night anymore. I mean, driving, that I mean, two hours for him to drive me to Fort Lauderdale in Miami. Two hours back, that's four hours for him. Two hours back to come get me, and two hours for us to come back home. And then I had to make sure it was a nighttime or dark. Do you not know the day is Sunday? I think it was Thursday. I thought I found a, a ticket. It was pretty reasonable. It was like, I think it's like $500. I got a phone call. The person was crying. The person was rejoicing. The person that called me and asked me, could they borrow some money? And I was going to send it to them. I thought they was calling me back to say, did you not send me the money? I just forgot. And they weren't, they weren't calling about that. If something else had happened. And uh, they were able to bless me. Right. 
with a round trip ticket to New York. In a nick of time. Nick. A nick of time. I just shook my head. Because it just happened just like that. I was supposed to be sending him some money. A few dollars. I forgot to send it. I thought it was coming back to ask for it. So I call heaven. I'm long winded. I know. I call heaven. No, I, I sent her the, the flight arrangements. She didn't look at them. I sent it to my son. I sent it to my husband. Because I'm thinking, I said, where you get this from? How'd you do it? I think it was day before yesterday when I finally talked to him. You looked at my flight arrangements. She said, no. I said, you know I have them? She said, yeah. So how'd you know? She says, because God is going to provide. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I know he is, but I, he always does. She said, I wonder. She said, I'm not worried about nothing. Like I told you, it's none of my business. And then she had the audacity to start quoting all kinds of scriptures. But I've told her to live on. I said, hey, but I got that. My faith is real and genuine for me. But when I start talking about my kids or my mom or somebody else, I, me, my, I, I mastermind. But when I start talking about my children, <laughs> she says, I said, but it happened just in a nick of time. This girl made me so mad. She said, well, let me tell you something. I knew it was going to come through, and it came through for me too. God bless me as well. She said, but until you learn how to turn it all over to the Lord, and really walk in true faith. We got to keep going through these changes. Nick of time faith. Nick of time. Until you get it right. So I ain't get it right. That's the problem. You're not walking totally on faith. It's just like. He just. He, 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 you have to believe. In a nick of time. It happens. That's why we keep going through this. That's what she said to me. That's okay. You may be right. I'm going to work on my nick of time faith. Y'all have that faith where you say, I believe God. I know what faith is. I don't see it's going to come. I really do have that kind of faith. I, I really do. I do. That nick of time faith. That last minute faith. I'm struggling with. And she said, well, if you don't get it right, we're going to keep on going through the same thing every week, day in and day out. Okay. 